We're going to be using narrative in the course and hopefully in your classroom to get around some of the common science education problems and still get the students ready for the test. Too often science is simply a matter of putting together a lot of random parts and pieces. Now you can go to the web and you can find interesting rap songs made about the periodic table. And we've always known how to find acronyms to get people to learn science. But how do you make it cohesive? And how often are labs really just about proving something we already know in a very cookbook way, giving little opportunities for students to explore or create or investigate? For our science education purposes, I want you to think broadly. We want to know what's the story. It can relate to the common core, but this is not simply a discussion of argumentation and how to put forth a good science argument. You will be looking for a theme that can let you tie together all the lessons in a unit, or maybe even more than a unit. They can be tied in even if it's just tangentially. And you're going to need an audience. You're going to be collecting data. You're going to be using technology. But who are you going to tell the story to? What's your audience? There are lots of different stories you can tell. I'm going to be telling one where we're going to actually be developing materials to use with a new emerging country in South Sudan. The students' research and then presentation within websites about diseases and how they're spread can actually help some of these countries. You could also run your class around an ongoing theme, such as the entertainment world is done with things like Mythbusters and Dirty Jobs. The recent trend in professional reality shows can give you ideas, too. Your chemistry students could solve a garden problem. And maybe your physics students could suggest some new ways that they could uh, put bumpers on shopping carts. Remember as you're brainstorming with your team that you want to think like a kid. Think outside the box. Ask yourself what can make the topic challenging or interesting. Can your students assemble the science to help or teach others? Or can they find things about the topics that are simply amazing, awesome, or even useful? Having a story or a theme can help you cover a unit and even more. It can help you provide motivation, purpose, and connection. You can reference your story in all your lessons, even if it's just as a reminder. And very importantly, the story or narrative can tie together the whole unit and give a real reason for communicating. So you'll be using narratives to help you in a number of ways to get past parts and pieces science, to make sure that what you're doing is meaningful and that it uses 21st century skills, and of course it will help you get ready to have your students and ultimately you assessed by the Common Core Standards.